Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at the time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below where you can find the current list of reading services I offer. And if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Virgo, there's a lot of fiery, passionate energy coming through here for your mid-July. I do feel like some of you, you're going to have the, like this very high energy and stimulus. For, so for those of you that have felt like you have been low on energy or procrastinating a lot or just not able to keep up energetically with something, I do feel like that's going to change. Uh, there's a sense of a positive um, drive, an ambition, a desire, a lust for life taking over. So much so that I feel like for some of you, you could be willing to do things and step into creative territory that is brand new or, or dare to do things that usually uh, you wouldn't. I do feel like in terms of creativity, this is a great time to pursue new interests, new hobbies, new ways of expressing yourself. Uh, also, it's a time that favors a lot of your independence. So being out there and independently seeking for, you know, the things you want. And um, there's something about maybe some of you are exploring a possibility of business or exploring a possibility of doing something in which you will have a very important dominant role. Because we go from the page to the queen, so there's a growth associated and fast, which is representative of also this fiery energy. There's in mid July, there is like something small that starts perhaps like small that can fast, very fast grow into its level of maturity. So either being creative projects, ideas, ambitions, uh, this entrepreneurial kind of role, this leadership energy, or this desire to go on an adventure of sorts, I do feel like you could start small, but very fast, you will go into high levels of success and demand as well, which is why the advice is the queen of wands, because some of you need to, will need to then step up maybe into roles that require a level of responsibility over these things you're going to start. Um, also, I feel like this is speaking a lot about the shift from Cancer season into Leo season. So the peak of this energy might be felt more as the sun moves into Leo season. I actually feel like there's a boost of confidence and energy that is going to be kind of pushing Virgos to step outside conformity, procrastination, or lack of self-confidence. Another positive expression of this energy is you feeling much more confident in your skin and being outspoken and being um, happy about current circumstances because you're making the most out of them. I also feel like there could just be here an important uh, invitation or possibility for you to explore that's going to be highly stimulant. There could be someone inviting you to something, to take part on something, or to go somewhere that's going to make you very happy and it's going to make you feel very empowered. That's another message here for Virgos is a sense of empowerment and a sense of you just feeling strong regardless of your challenges or your worries. There's a sense of, um, of an empowerment that it's taking place through the fire energy that is very compelling and attractive for yourself and for others. I do feel like there's a high level of sexual attraction as well with this and a high sexual drive and a boost of your own libido. So sexual um, freedom and um, letting go of certain inhibitions that might also so far have been, you have been dealing with like for, for Virgos that have been dealing with a lot of repression when it comes to your sexual desires or sexual life, there could be significant changes also taking place in mid-July or there might be an opportunity for a very interesting sexual experience here with the devil. I do feel like for some of you, um, I 
there could be like this rekindling of a passion uh, towards an ex or a situation that has been more based on sexual attraction again so far that it's going to reach its level of high intensity so if it's something you have been dealing with so far that maybe has been a little bit you know unstable or luck warm get ready for things to get really 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 steamy for virgos um if you have been obsessing over someone if you have been trying here to attract someone into your world into your reality if you have your eyes set on someone your level of attractiveness is almost like 99 percent granted that you're going to be able to manifest this desire just there's a being that the devil is in the challenge there could be a little bit of a sense of uh you interacting with someone in which the two of you could bring like the most toxic aspects out of each other manipulative uh, you know the same way that you bring out the passion and the sexual freedom and the the the, the best traits of passion you can also kind of then experience the worst or the most difficult ones which is manipulation obsession jealousy there could also be a lot of jealousy as well here some of you could be dealing strongly with fire sign um, energies or capricorn influences i do feel like you could be also there could be like a mutual level of jealousy between you and someone that can also get really really high but I feel like for the most part, some of you, because of this empowered energy, you're going to be able to successfully move around the devil energy without getting too deep into it. Although there's a warning here and being that the devil is a major arcana is always like something that we need to take caution over. Um... For Virgos that are in relationships, it just could just be a time where you and your partner are getting really well in the bedroom or things could get, you know, really spicy there. Or as well, there could be like an increase of jealousy just taking place. Mainly because for some of you Virgos, you are, you are somehow exuding an energy that it's so magnetic that naturally this could trigger your partners and not only partner i do feel like maybe some of you are triggering jealousy from several ends this could be an unfortunate also aspect of this combination of energies that there could be people you know not only lusting over you but also very jealous you know of the attention of the success of the radiance of the beauty of the things that you are kind of showing because the queen of wands is not afraid to show herself so you could be in a moment where you're, it's actually required for you to step outside and, and, you know, shine. But there could be jealousy here as well concerning you, the attention you're receiving and your glow up in general or your happiness, which is another aspect of Queen of Wands is the advice is for you to just be happy and follow your happiness and be in your joyful era, especially for throughout mid-July. And if that can trigger, you know, negative responses from people, so be it. Because the advice is the Queen of Wands and is for you to be strong, empowered and autonomous. All right. Regardless of what this devil will represent for some of you, it's a very sexual bond connection. It could be also uh, fears of giving in to your passion. So being a new passionate hobby, a passionate affair with someone, or this desire of yours to, you know, embrace your individuality without repressing, you know, aspects of it. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.